Hi, this is Johan here from ilocals.info. It's a friendly place to create a free supported blog. What I would like to show you today is how to add an event calendar to your blog. Now let's go to an example on one of my blogs called Simonstown. I have an events calendar. Now what I basically do, I use a plugin from WordPress and I use Google Calendar and it adds all the upcoming events in Simonstown to my blog. You can also add a widget on your sidebar that shows the upcoming events. Okay, the next thing you need to do is go to your, go and download the plugin and install it. Then go down to your plugins and activate the plugin. The plugin is called WordPress Google Calendar. Click on activate options after you've activated the plugin click on WPNG calendar plugin and you'll get to this page where you need to add the Google G data API key and you need to enter your Google Calendar feed now let's go and get that okay go to Google Calendar uh, you need to enter your Google email account and password if you haven't got it you need to sign up and create a new Google account then you need to go and create your Google Calendar. I've already done that I and mean, this um, tutorial is, is not to teach you how to do Google Calendar. It's basically to show you how to use a plugin. Now I would like to use the Simon's Down Events Calendar. Now select the calendar that you would like to add then go to Manage Calendars. Now at the top you'll see General Calendars Mobile Setup. Let's go to Calendars and then select Simonstown events calendar. Now what we would like to do is edit the settings. One of the first things you need to do is make this calendar public and then save it. Let's click Simonstown events calendar and then go to calendar details and then scroll down to the bottom and then you need to get the XML click right click on properties and you'll get the address. Now this is the address that you would like to have. You need to enter it into your WordPress options. So let's copy it. Let's get back to our WordPress options VPNG calendar plugin. Now just before we do that, I just want to show you at the end it says public full. The default says public full. What we need to do Let's do the same for our new feed that we're going to enter. And this guy just paste. And you'll see at the moment it says public basic. What we need to do is take all of that out and make it public full. Alright. So now we've got the calendar feed. You can only have one calendar feed. Let's go and get the G Data API key. Okay, let's sign up for the Google Data. API. I will um, separate to this video. I'll show you the the URL to get there. Read the term of service, and then you just agree that you've read it. Enter your block URL and generate the API key. Just now, copy, copy and paste it. Okay, we've copied it. Let's get back to the blog. Let's go to options, WPNG calendar plugin. Let's paste the G data. Key. The next thing I do is to update the settings. Now you can go and display your calendar. You can display it. Let's go and show you the first option as a as a widget. Go to presentation, click on widgets, and then scroll down where you see the WPNG calendar and drag it to your sidebar. Now as soon as you've updated it, now let's before we update it, let's quickly go and set it. You can give it a sidebar title and you can show how many events you would like to show. I'm going to leave it at the default and then save it. The second option is to add events as a page. Let's go and show you how that's done. Okay, let's go and create a page where we will show the events. Click on the right, click on the right page, give you a page a title. Let's call it events. And the next thing you would like to do. Well, you can decide if you would like comments or not. 
leave the space over there empty. You can add something if you like to, but I'd leave it empty. What we now need to do is go down to the bottom and add a custom field. Now, what we need to do is copy this string. I'll give you the string separately. Show VPNG calendar, hyphens in between. Copy it and paste it in the key. The next thing you want to do is add a value. The value is how many events you would like to show on the page and you may decide to say enter 10 because it's a page and then add the custom field now you can see it's added you can update or change or delete it all you need to do now is come publish and you will have an events table on your block or events page on your block depending on your theme it will become part of your menu navigational system at the top of your block for example, if we go to mine, see at events, it's part of my top navigational menu, and I have all my events on that page. Now, if you click on any of these events, it grabs the data from Google Calendar, and it gives you a bit more information. Here you can see the date, the time, it's even got a map, and you can then close it and continue reading all the other events. I believe this is a very simple way to make your blog a lot more stickier. This is Johan Horak from My Locals Info where you can create your own free blog where you don't have to worry about all the plugins. I look after the plugins for you then show you how to use them through my helpmetoblog.com site. Thank you, Johan Horak.